So what are the five stages of prospective buyers and how do you target each to maximize your sales? You're gonna find out today. I'm John Benson and this is Sales Copy Secrets. back and this is the five stages of prospects and how to target each to maximize your sales. So if you are a copywriter and you're here looking for copywriting tips, tactics, techniques, or if you're a marketer just looking to sell more of your stuff online, this video is definitely for you and I want you to do me a favor, look below, leave me a comment, smash that like button if you like what you hear, share this video with some friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's dive into the training right now. So if you're a marketer or you're a copywriter writing for a product owner or a service creator or whatever you may be writing for or whoever you may be writing for, if it's a what, you probably should run because it could be an alien. But let's say it's a who and you're writing to what? Help them get more buyers, but not just any buyer. You want your ideal buyer and your ideal buyer comes in five distinct flavors, kind of like ice cream, only you shouldn't eat your ideal buyer. Therefore, logically, you need to communicate with them in five different ways. Notice all these hand gestures, okay? Five different ways. Yeah. <laughs> five. What are the five stages? What are the five stages of buying? Well, let's walk through them right now. Stage one is the unaware buyer. They don't even know they have a problem. They are absolutely clueless when it comes to what you're talking about and what you're selling. So an example of this may be somebody who has never heard of cryptocurrency before, the very first time they've ever heard of it. Think back to when you, the very first time you ever heard the term cryptocurrency and you're watching a VSL or a sales letter and this guy's going on about this stuff called cryptocurrency. So obviously this guy needs to approach this from a much, much higher level of, of less than specificity. He can't go into the 15 things every crypto trader needs to know because they're, you're not even gonna know what he's talking about. So this is unaware and guess what? There's a whole lot of your audience that are completely unaware. They have no idea they have a problem at all or what you're talking about to solve it. Stage two is problem aware. They are aware they have a problem. So let's talk about weight loss, for example. They're aware they need to lose weight, but they have no idea other than the problem of what's going on. They don't know how to do it. They don't have any idea what a diet even really looks like, what a healthy diet is. They're very confused. They have no idea. They've never heard of certain su supplements, certain things like even meta metabolism may be an, a, a foreign word to them. So that's just an example. They know the problem. I don't like the way I feel. I don't like the way I look. I, I'm, I'm probably overweight, but that's all they know. Now, stage three is solution aware. This is where your prospective buyer understands the problem and kind of understands the solution. Like they know they need to change their diet. They know they might need to take a few supplements. They know they need to go to the gym if it's weight loss, for example, but they have no idea what the specifics are. They're completely unclear of that. Now, those three categories make up the vast majority of the people that are hitting your website. So you must speak to them in a specific way. And I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. Stage four is called product aware. They're actually aware that there are at least a product or some products or some solutions out there that will solve this problem. And we're gonna use weight loss again as, just as, our, as our example. It's not the only thing it works for. It works for everything, okay? But weight loss, I know, I, I know I need to lose weight. I know I need to increase my metabolism. And I know that there are certain products that help me do that. Like I've read this book or I've read that book, but I haven't necessarily heard your stuff, but I know that there's stuff out there. And then stage five is where they are brand aware. Now, brand awareness means they know about you. They know specifically about who you are. They're either just not quite sold yet or they have bought from you in the past and they're probably gonna be a repeat customer. Now, obviously these people are easier to sell to and require a different level of copy. So let's get into the types of copy to apply to each of these five stages of prospective buyers right now. Those first three stages are best approached by what's called indirect copy. And the final two are best approached with what's called direct copy. So we need to define our terms as always. Let's do that now. Indirect copy is copy that uses common emotional states to direct a potential buyer to the awareness of a problem and the solution you're selling. This often involves the use of storytelling, case studies, and emotive language patterns. Direct copy is copy that more bluntly states the nature of the problem and or solution, assuming the reader is either fully aware of the reasons why they should read it or knows the problems or solutions related to the copy already exist. Now that's a lot of technique, technical mumbo jumbo. So let's define this better with some examples, okay? Since I know that you are interested in copywriting, duh, you're watching my channel, right? 
it may be perfectly fine and perfectly direct for me to start off an email or a video or a sales letter even with a headline that reads five copywriting secrets for higher converting sales pages. Now, it doesn't mean that you have a sales page. I don't know for sure if you have a sales page. I don't know for sure that you have an offer yet, but I do know that you're interested in copywriting. So odds are you either write for somebody who does or you have that yourself. So that is direct copy. I'm directly talking about a specific element of copywriting, like copywriting secrets for higher converting sales pages. So converting, you, I assume that you know what converting means. This is very direct copy. But let's say that you are a stage one prospective buyer. You don't even know what copywriting means. You don't even have a vague idea that you have a problem. You just know that your sales suck. So check this out. I can attract everyone, including the stage five buyers, by the way, with this headline why your sales page sucks and how to fix it. Okay, that's a very strong, very simple headline that assumes only one thing and that's that you have a sales page. So if I'm talking to prospective people that are buying my copywriting products, if you don't have a sales page or if you're not writing for a sales page, you're probably not a fit. You're probably not there. Or I could change that to, by the way, why your email copy sucks and how to fix it. So it doesn't have to be a sales page, but I have to assume that you're doing something with words. So I used sales page because it kept it even with the other one. So I could have easily said why your emails suck and what to do about it. But notice I'm not using terms like converting or ROI or CTR, click-through rate. I'm not using those terms because again, I'm assuming you don't have any idea what that is. I didn't even use the word copywriting. I didn't have to because this is indirect copy. So let's take it even one step further. Let's assume that I don't even know that you have anything like an email or a sales page or anything. Like in other words, this is the most indirect copy possible. Check out this headline. The number one thing you need to sell anything online. Boom, <laughs> boom. Okay, I just dropped a nuclear bomb on you right now because guess what? The number one thing you need to sell anything online, I pulled out all my tricks that I've taught you on my channel with videos like you see below that you should memorize and watch and basically you, know, you should make posters of this stuff and put it up all over and go tell everyone, please start a cult, do anything you want, just buy my stuff. No, I'm kidding. What did I do there? Number one thing, okay, you know I talk about the number one thing all the time. The number one thing, so you only need to know one thing. Isn't that cool? The number one thing you need you need this to sell anything online. So if you're not interested in selling anything online, either as a copywriter or as a marketer or as anything in between, then you're simply not a fit. Like if you if you train dogs for a living, that's awesome, I love dogs. But if you say sell cars for a living, then I'm, I'm not interested in speaking to you as a guy with copywriting products. So this is a very, very indirect toward the copywriting audience headline indirect copy. So I'm going to get as many people in the funnel as I possibly can. And the very first thing I'm going to say is, guess what? The number one thing you need, you need this stuff called copywriting. Okay, That's where I introduce copywriting. And now I take you from completely underwear, stage one, to now you're at stage three. You're going to, by the end, by the end of that sales letter, you will be problem aware, solution aware. Hell, you'll even be brand aware by the end of this uh, end of the sales letter. But even if you just log, click off there, you'll at least be aware. You'll at least be to stage three. And that's a lot easier easier to, for me to communicate with you because I can start using technical things, terms. I can start using proof that will make sense because now you'll know the difference between A, B, and C. But you can see it takes a little bit of time. You're not always going to suck everybody in with a simple headline like that. It may take me four, five, ten emails to take you from completely unaware to down to your, where you're brand aware. So in order to get you to do that, you need to respond to people with an autoresponder built in a couple of different ways. So one idea that I have is simply to ask the question when somebody goes to your opt-in page, what is your experience in copywriting and marketing? None whatsoever, <laughs> you know? And you can go none whatsoever, somewhat experienced, and like I know all there is to know about it. So if, they're, if they check one or two, I will put them into the indirect copy autoresponder series where my emails to them will be very indirect. The number one thing to increase sales page conversions, for example, you know, why your emails suck, how to fix them. Okay. So I'm taking them and I'm barely moving them toward this whole idea of copywriting. But when I know they're toward the idea of copywriting, I'll send them to like a VSL or a sales page or something different and go, Hey, I got a freebie for you over here. That's going to teach you the five basic uh, the truths of copywriting that you need to know to improve your sales. Something minor like that. I've got copywriting in there now. So now they're going to be at stage three or stage four if they opt into that list. And now I'll start talking to them with more direct copy. Now, one more idea to help you filter these folks without doing anything crazy like that, you know, c coming up with different offers and things is you can just create an article page. So you can say, if you're interested in this, click here and then have three articles, three related articles. One of them's in indirect, like another indirect article. If you're going to an all indirect list, 
The second one might be more direct, like you know, three copywriting tricks used by pros to increase sales page conversions. And the third one may be really direct, like you know, something related to ROI or CTR. Increase your, increase your CTR by 200% using this advanced copywriting tactic or something like that. So when they click there, you know for sure they're in four or five. You can just move them over to the, <laughs> move them over to the, the direct copy uh, email list. And you can also talk to them and send them to different sales pages, by the way. So if you know that the, a person is in categories one, two, or three, or stages one, two, and th three, you don't want to send them to a sales page that's all tacky, that's talking about copywriting and copywriting. Oh, copywriting is copywriting that. You want to send them to a sales page that's talking about general sales, how to increase sales online. You need to use the best practices of what's called copywriting. And what's really great is you don't have to be a copywriter or even hire one if you get my book. You see where I'm going? I funnel these people slowly into, oh, I need to know a little bit about the skill, but I don't need to master it. But for the folks on the other side, four and five, I might be talking to professional copywriters. And from there, I will market those people, I will market to say my copywriting course. I won't necessarily do a lot of marketing to stage one, two, and three because they're completely either unaware or they're just not ready for that yet. So that was the five stages of prospective buyers, how you should talk to them. Look below for more information. Until next time, I'm John Benson. I'm here to help make you unignorable.